What's up everyone? Are you here? Another vlog. I decided I'm going to do these once a week since uh, since I want to. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do these once a week. And um, so I'm going to do it today. I guess I'll start doing them on Fridays because I'm off like an hour early. So <clears throat> I'm going to do that. And I'm super excited because today is Friday and Sunday Animal Crossing <sighs> will be in my hands. <clears throat> I'm very excited, like, so excited, like, I was almost tempted to download it at midnight, but I'm not going to, because I want a physical copy for one, and two, the Nintendo eShop system kind of is, eh, it's not very good, and so I don't, I try not to download any games, unless it's like a Game Boy Advance game, like the, those, um, the Oracle of, no, wait, I don't know what it's called. The two Game Boy Advance games that just came out for um, purchase on the eShop. I bought those. And I'll buy little stupid games on there too. So, But other than that, not a full game. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty excited too because my buddy is going to be getting it. And uh, I actually talked him out of buying the digital download. So I'm glad that he made the right choice. Um, with that being said, uh, I don't have my money, but I put it in my piggy bank another 20 bucks. So, I'm on my way. I don't know if it's going to be for Wii U, like I said, kind of once, or, actually I've said it lots of times, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the Wii U or PlayStation 4. I definitely don't want to get an Xbox One, just because it sounds like it's going to be really gimmicky, and everybody that first purchases it is probably going to be a guinea pig for the first year, and so I'm going to wait. On, I mean, because I'm definitely going to get like a Nintendo console and then most likely a PlayStation just because I don't want to deal with Xbox's like little stuff. Although, in their, I guess not defense, but just in my, how I do things, none of those, um, none of other people's complaints really apply to me. Um, I don't trade games. I try not to lend out my games because I'm afraid they'll get lost or scratched or even worse, stolen. So that's never really happened, I don't think. But yeah, I like to avoid lending my stuff out just because I've lost stuff in the past. And eh, me, I don't know. I'm not trying to defend Xbox, like I said. I'm not a fanboy. I just want to get my money's worth out of whichever console. And if it, I mean, it's Microsoft. They'll make games no matter what, if people buy it or not. I think, but. I want to wait and see, just because I'm not, I'm kind of iffy on the whole, like, always on, and I couldn't tell you why I'm iffy about it, other than I just don't like the fact that it has to be online all the time, and I guess, too, because if it's an online service, eventually one day, like, because, you know, you have to, everything is pretty much downloaded, your games, the physicals that you buy are basically just, like, the, like, purchase key whatever, I don't know what they're calling it, but, so everything is digital, so when, and it always has to be online, so what happens when that system isn't supported by Microsoft anymore, what happens when they just say, oh, we're moving on to the next generation, do none of those games work anymore, that's like one of the answers I'd really like to know, like, what happens after Xbox One, I mean, because I still have, like, all my consoles pretty much that I've ever bought myself, like, my, well, my first one that I bought myself was um, my GameCube, and I still have that. I still have my DS. I still have my 3DS. I'm kind of collecting all my consoles, and I still try to collect video games as far as physical discs go. Uh, about five years ago, though, I was not. That was not the case. I, anytime I beat a game, I would go trade it in, and it really sucked. I wish I, I wish I would have held on to a lot of those games because I really did have a lot of games. I would have a pretty fat collection if I hadn't traded them in. It wasn't until about five years ago, like I said, that um, I actually decided not to trade in games anymore because I kind of view my games that I've completed as trophies, not trade-ins, you know. So I like to have them around. I have a small collection. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's pretty small. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys someday. I don't, know. I don't feel like getting up, <laughs> even though I'm using this on my little camera. But I don't feel like getting up. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm excited, but I'm not. 
I feel kind of tired, but it's mainly because we were up in Chico again, and we got back on Tuesday night, and I didn't get home until 9 o'clock, so I worked from 5 in the morning to 9 at night, and so it's, everything kind of feels meh now because I'm really tired, and so um, I was really bummed out, though, on the way home because uh, I'd planned on playing Fire Emblem all the way home. It's like a three-hour drive, and my battery was dead! I guess I had fallen asleep the night before with it on while in sleep mode, but drained my battery, so I didn't get to play it at all on my way home. But I played the crap out of it just yesterday. And I'm starting to play Zelda, Skyward Sword. I'm going to do a playthrough. If you want to watch, I'll put a description. I'll put a link in the description. There we go. And uh, you guys can watch me play Zelda. It's um, it's going to be the first game I do a walk or walk through, a playthrough. And um, I'm a little nervous. Just because I've never really dedicated time to create something and put it online, I guess. Other than these little videos, but that's nothing. It's going to take me like 50 hours, so. But, yeah, I'm excited just because I want to do it. I feel like I'll, I'll feel rewarded that I'll have shared my experience. I mean, that's pretty much the reason why I even like to record videos or, like, my gameplay is because I like to share like those moments because they're always so fun and so I like other people to see them and yeah hmm. so if you guys are going to be purchasing Animal Crossing New Leaf shoot me your friend codes you could do it here or on Twitter um, or Instagram I'll, like I said I'll put those in the description um, but best here I guess I don't know or Google Plus nobody uses Google Plus there's a cool little community and oh my god the lighting sucks now sad news. But anyways, there's a cool little community on Google Plus, and if, um, you probably have one if you have a YouTube account, so, mm, use it. S friend me on there, I'll put my, I'll put a link to that in the descriptions, and, um, there's cool Animal Crossing communities on there, and so, yeah, add me, that'd be cool. Till next time.